this morning, the Memphis Police Department, the men and women of the Memphis Police Department are hurt right now. As Chief of Police, I am hurt right now. At once again, senseless deaths in our community by gun violence. Today we are here, not just to talk about what happened last night, but to make an appeal to our community that gun violence has to stop. At approximately 2 a.m., officers responded to a suspicious vehicle call at Horn Lake Road in Charter Avenue. When officers approached the vehicle, they were fired upon by the occupants inside. Officers then returned fire. At that time, the suspect took off and MPD officers pursued the vehicle for a short distance where the vehicle stopped in, a, in the area of the 400 block of Hewlett Road. The two suspects were apprehended at that time. One suspect was taken into custody immediately. One fled the scene and was located nearby. A total of three officers were struck by gunfire. Tragically, one of our officers lost his life. That officer is Joseph McKinney. He was assigned to the rain station, Alpha Shift. The second officer was brought here to Regional One, but thankfully, he has been upgraded to non-critical condition and he's doing well. The third officer was treated on the scene and is in stable condition. One suspect was 18 years old and the other suspect is 17 years old. Both suspects were transported to Regional One in critical condition. Both of them sustained gunfire as well. One suspect has been pronounced deceased. The 18-year-old suspect was arrested in March 2024 by MPD in a stolen vehicle with an illegal modified semi-automatic weapon with a Glock switch attached. The Glock switch converted the weapon to a fully automatic machine gun. He was also charged at that time for two stolen vehicles and having a programming device commonly used to steal cars. The suspect was released at that time without bond. We have notified the district attorney's office to assist in this investigation, and we have also contacted the TBI, and they will be conducting a full investigation and is out on the scene at this time. We ask our community to continue to pray for our officers as they do their work valiantly and with honor every night. So thank you. And at this time, we will have a few questions, but we also want to hear from our mayor too, Mayor Paul Young. Thank you, Chief. Um, I think the Chief said it accurately. Uh, we need a community call to action. Um, we are heartbroken uh, of the lives lost. Um, our fallen officer um, and, and this senseless act of violence. Um, we know that we as a community have to do more uh, to hold violent offenders accountable for their actions. Uh, even our young people, we have to make sure that we are pressing for accountability. Um, we wanna protect our community. Uh, our young people are dependent on us uh, to get this right and we need urgent action from this whole community. Uh, we stand with the families of those that have been uh, lost to violence, um, to MPD, uh, our officers are hurting. Uh, our heart goes out to them and their families. 
uh, and we mourn together and we stand in solidarity as one community. Um, but I want to reiterate that we do need community action. The only way we can reverse this thing is that everyone plays a part. We need our parents to step up. We need our churches to step up. Uh, we have to be the, the village that is going to protect this community. Um, it's, it's, it's just a shame that you know, our young people are making these choices uh, and we need them to make better choices. Uh, we need them to understand um, that this is damaging our whole community, that families are being torn apart with the violence that we're seeing in our community. Um, and as a city, we're committed to working as one unit to get this thing right. Thank you. Can we uh, get the spelling for Officer McKinney's name, please? Yes. I want to make sure I get that right, too. <clears throat> First name is Joseph, J-O-S-E-P-H. Last name McKinney, M-C, capital K-I-N-N-E-Y. They didn't make the stop, it was already sitting there. It was called in to the officers to check out the vehicle. I don't have that information right now. Anytime my officers are called to a scene about a suspicious, they're, they're, it's their responsible to respond and check out what the situation is. We're not sure, sir. How long is uh, officer in the department? Um, he joined the department in 2020, so approximately three years. Which is the suspect? The driver of the vehicle, uh, I believe 18 years old. Yes. Not at this time. Uh, 18 year old. Mm -hmm. Last question. Last question. Well, you know, we're not just concerned about, you know, our, our officers, we're concerned about the public in general. You know, this could have been anybody. And we're just really, really disturbed at the um, boldness and the use of weapons in just all these different situations that we're seeing in our community. We have a family that's grieving now. We have a wife that's grieving now. We have the family of the suspects that are grieving now. And as a community, we have to do better. We have to, you know, uh, ensure that parents know where our young people are at three o'clock in the morning. And um, we need to work together as a community to do whatever we can within our breath to work on reducing gun violence in our community. So this is a very tragic situation. Uh, again, uh, we are losing far too many of our community members and for our officers to have to face this level of violence and danger every day in our city. Uh, we're making an appeal to the community to work with us to reduce gun violence. So thank you all very much. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure I was clear. There were two suspects involved and then one died and the other one's in custody. Correct? Yes. And that's everyone? That's, that's it. That's All as right. far as we know. Right. They're Thank still you. out on the scene. Thank you. What you just heard was a very tearful, very emotional interim police chief C.J. Davis alongside Memphis Mayor Paul Young giving us an update that one of the officers, his name, Joseph McKinney, who joined MPD three years ago and worked at Rain Station, has died from his injuries after the shooting in Southwest Memphis earlier this morning. That second officer, she says, is still at Regional One, but doing better. The third officer that was shot at that scene 
was treated on scene and is expected to be okay. She also gave us an update about the two suspects involved in this case. An 18 year old who she says had a prior history with Memphis police back in 2024 with a stolen vehicle and a gun and that the 17 year old suspect was with him at this time. Let's go now to Stephen Reels who is live and following the story for us in Southwest Memphis. Stephen, give us an update about what happened early this morning at around 2 a.m. there. Good morning, Yvonne. Right now we are standing right across the street from Jeter K through eight where the school day looks like it's getting underway momentarily. School buses and parents are coming on in, but right behind me, you can see that they still have parts of Horn Lake closed off right now. No one's been able to get in to it for about six hours at this point, but we're going to show you what the scene looked like this morning when our photographer first arrived. We know now that around 2 a.m. was when the officers first responded to a suspicious vehicle that was in the area of Charter and Horn Lake. That's around Memphis Fire Station number 38. Now, once the officers approached, the people inside the car returned fire at them, and then the officers returned fire. Now, at that point, the car took off, but was quickly relocated at the 400 block of Hewlett. You can see that on your screen momentarily. It was reeled with bullet holes and one of the suspects was taken into custody at that time. Another one took off but was quickly taken into custody as well. After that, they were taken to Regional 1 along with the officers. As you know now, one of the officers, Joseph McKinney, he passed away after only three years with MPD and one of the suspects as well was also taken in at that time. That's what we have right now, Yvonne. Stefan, thank you for that update. You can stay with us for more updates on this big developing breaking news story, not just today, but in the weeks and the months to come as we continue to follow what happened here. You can stay with us on abc24.com slash now for those latest details, but also download our free ABC 24 app. It is available to you and it's free in the Apple App Store and in Google Play. Thank you so much for joining us for this special edition of ABC 24 News this morning. We're going to send you back now to Good Morning America.